Hey kids! It was a pretty requested video for me to give like a beginner makeup starter pack. Did that make any sense? No. It was very requested for me to do like a makeup starter pack. So I'm going to be showing that for you guys. Why can't I talk? I'm going to be showing that to you guys today. I'm going to be showing you like my favorite, not my favorite thing, but like what I most recommend to beginners in each category. And all of these are pretty affordable. There are like three high end things, I think. There's a concealer, a palette, and something else, but I don't remember what it is. I need to crack this knuckle. There we go. <laughs> This look, I filmed this, it's going to be up on Wednesday for my Weird Look Wednesday series. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Mm, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be showing you three bag options, a small, a medium, and a large. The small one is actually a March Ipsy bag. This is one of the bigger Ipsy bags they gave us. But the normal size Ipsy bags fit things just fine, so you can use one of those if you want. The medium one is from Urban Outfitters. I got it on sale for like $3, but they always have cute ones like this. And it's just like transparent and all that bullshit. And then the large one is by Sonia Kasha and it has two extra like makeup bags, a place for your brushes and then a big pocket and that was like 20 bucks at Target. It's a pretty good deal and it's really big. The purpose of showing you all these is just like all the different options for you to keep your essentials in. Whether these are your first makeup products or you just want to go travel, like these are good bag options. All the products I'm sharing with you today fit in the Ipsy bag that I was showing you so let's just get started. We can go. Show me what's the move and I so the first thing is this Wet n Wild photo focus face primer this is one of my favorite primers and it's drugstore and it's wet and wild so it's mad cheap it fills pores it moisturizes, it's amazing and then the next thing is also from wet and wild because you know whatever it's the photo focus foundation it's so good it's just like the perfect foundation it looks so good on top of the skin and they have so many different shades i'm in the shade shell ivory for concealer i have the tarte shape tape i'm in the shade light and this is just like a cult classic i decided to do this one rather than a drugstore concealer just because it's so good and nothing can beat it and it's just something that everybody needs. Then I have the Wet n Wild Contouring Duo. They have two different shades. This is the lighter shade. This is in Dolce de Leche. It has a contour and a powder. I decided to include this because it has two products in one and it's super creamy, super pigmented. I love it. Also, more Wet n Wild products. Why am I such a fake ass bitch? Okay, then I have the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. Again, this is a cult classic. I love this. It's such a pretty color. It blends out so well and it just looks really good on the face. For highlighter, I have the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade peach life and bitch this is six bucks and it is so poppin this is in my like most intense highlighters video but it's so good like 10 out of 10 would bang then I have the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. This is my favorite. No, it's not. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever. The quality of the nine pan palettes is so good, but especially this one. It's so creamy. The mattes are very blendable. The shimmers are super pigmented, and I do really think that it's worth the $36 that you pay for it. So I don't know about you guys, but I like only use felt tipped eyeliner. So this Essence like super fine eyeliner, whatever the fuck, is really good. It's really black and it's really fine. It's like an actually good eyeliner. It's only like three bucks or something so yeah this is the Maybelline Last Sensational and this is one of my favorite mascaras not much needs to be said but I really like the wand then we have the NYX micro brow and while it isn't technically a dupe for the Anastasia brow is I do still really like it this one is a little bit more waxy and good for drawing hair than the brow is is but I still like both of them I'm in the shade like Auburn I think and last but not least the Milani make it last setting spray I swear to god this is bottled holy water that's literally all I have to say thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did suck my dick please comment rate, subscribe suck my dick and keep on slaying the game <laughs> no keep on doing makeup because it's lit <laughs>